What a great morning. What a great experience in the spirituality of the St. George's Cathedral among great religious leaders and people from diverse faiths in this church today, in this cathedral. I know God Almighty is smiling today because he said, we created man from a pair of a male and a female and made you into nations and tribes that you may know each other, not that you may despise each other. Verily, the most honored of you in the sight of God Almighty is he who is the most righteous of you. And it doesn't matter from which religion you come. Religious leaders have shown maturity. Followers have shown maturity that we could unite together for the memory of those who have suffered in another part of the world. But actually, Haiti has done more for us than we have done for Haiti. I'm going to tell you a story. A few years ago, I was in an airport in Blantyre, and I met a Malawian diplomat. And he said to me, my friend, you know in Africa, we are always behind, and we are always battling. But I want to tell you a story. He said, many years ago, I was in a conference in Europe, and they were discussing a lot of issues about the world. And this conference took three days. He said, at the end of three days, I realized that the only word not mentioned in the conference was the word Africa. And I'm wondering why. They spoke about Australia, New Zealand, America, and all other countries in the Middle East and, Europe and, and Asia, but not one mention of the word Africa. So he said there were not many diplomats in this conference, and we felt a little shy because we are always begging and we don't have faith in ourselves. And after the third day, I mustered a little bit of courage to go and speak to the convener of the conference after supper, after the big farewell dinner. And I said, my friend, we've come from Africa. We've been sitting for three days in this conference. How come, how come nobody mentioned the word Africa even once? He said, do you know what he said to me? He said to me that Africa is not relevant. Well, brothers and sisters and members of the faith, on the 19th of January, 2010, in the late afternoon, Ahmed Bam, JC, and the team from the Northwest made South Africa relevant. And they made Africa relevant when they pulled out 64-year-old Enazizi in full view of the international media. They made humanity relevant. And they showed, yeah, in South Africa, and Africa, we can be counted among the best in the world. Because they took out Enazizi, 64-year-old lady from the Cathedral Church. <laughs> Not only did we become relevant, when Enna came out, she said, I love you and I love God. From several thousand kilometers away, we rekindled the faith of God Almighty in the individual line for seven days in the rubble. If we can do that, then it means God Almighty is smiling on us. A few days later, big Afrikaner guy like this and his team went and they got onto the, on the floor and they washed the walls of the cathedral to prepare a makeshift hospital to do the amputations and to do things service for the poor people of Haiti. Haiti is Africa. It is us, it is our people. We are the slaves that came from Africa and we went to the rescue of our brothers and sisters. Not looking at color, not looking at religion, not looking at class or politics or geography. We went as a common humanity. And when the mixed team came, and I tell you about the mixed team, anywhere in the world you go, when you see Chinese, they look the same. When you see Japanese, they look the same. When you see them from India, they look the same. When you see them from Europe, they look the same. But when you see them from South Africa, they look confusing. <laughs> and they ask, what is this one big white Afrikaner, one other white guy speaks English accent, an Indian guy, a Hindu guy, a black guy, what a different African language. What is this? This is the rainbow nation of God Almighty from this country. 
the rainbow nation that we sometimes are destroying with petty fights and conflicts and negativity. We are all brothers in faith, brothers in humanity. And when we sent a mixed team across, who were taught African a Christian and an Indian Muslim would go together with black people from South Africa to help people in the other part of the world. But God smiled on our country. He brought peace and harmony and understanding and rationality. So when they went across and when the medical teams followed, what happened? When the Americans saw them and the French saw them sitting there, they said there is no equipment, no X-ray machine, no MRI scan. We don't know how to operate on these people. And the South Africans went there and said, this is a breeze for us. We can do anything. And they got down to work when everybody from the first world stood back. South Africans got into the middle of it at the Seven Day Adventist Hospital. So much so, give them due to the Americans and the French. They acknowledged, they said, if you want service, come to the dream team. The dream team is from South Africa. <laughs> we made South Africa and Africa relevant because we went together, not on ego, not for favors. We went as human beings, as a common humanity, to help brothers and sisters on the other part of the world. They were tired, Ahmed and Jason and his team. They got there late in the morning, traveled for 44 hours and longer to get there. And the first night, within a few hours of sleeping, gunshots outside their compound, bullets hitting the gates. But that did not deter them from doing their service to their country, to their people, to their continent, and for the people of Haiti. These are examples for all of us to follow, brothers and sisters. The religious leaders have set the trend. It is time we understand and appreciate each other for the common cause of this country, this continent, and the world over. South Africans have made us proud. Little children in schools took their 50 cents and one ran their day's money, pocket money, and they're not rich. They come from poor homes where there's not enough food, and every day they collected in a poor school and raised 9,700 rand from that money. They stayed without things on the tuck shop for the whole week. Catholic schools, Anglicans, churches, mosque temples, all of South Africa has got together. So much so that we've managed to send in more than 12 million rand of aid. As we speak now, 27 containers of aid are on the ship on the way to Haiti because of your efforts, because of your love, because of your prayer. Let us stand together, enjoy this unity in diversity, and do, enjoy the unity in the different religious ways because the paths, of God to, the paths to God are many. It's not one. God is diverse. His creation is diverse. His humanity is diverse. So the paths to him are diverse. It is not a means of conflict. It's a means of understanding, of appreciating, of enjoying and coming together. My special thanks to the St. George's Cathedral, to Archbishop Mahoba, Reverend Brotherwood, and all the religious people are here, people from my organization, the marshals on the road, the police, the premier, the premier's representative, and everybody who's made this a success. And finally, thanks to God Almighty for bringing us together as human beings. Thank you very much.